I unsubscribed because I didn't dick slap when I first subscribed, so I had to do it again. Good man doesn't take shortcuts. You got no no! King Bear Pants! Alright guys, so many players since the announcement of Link Summoning have taken interest in what is known as Go Format. <laughs> it seems like every time there's like a new ban list or a new mechanic or even a new deck, people migrate back to Go Format. Which I don't blame them for at all because it's like my favorite format and it has a wonderful card pool and everything. If you guys don't know what Go Format or what other legacy formats are, you're probably going to be really lost in this video. In this video, I'm mainly going to be referring to GOAT format, and I did do an introduction to GOAT format video, so if you're already lost, then go ahead and watch that. In that video, I wasn't able to explain, like, every little thing in depth, but it gives you a pretty basic introduction into the format, so you're not completely lost. On top of having a great card pool, GOAT format is held up very high in the Yu-Gi-Oh! community, and that's because it is widely considered to be one of the most skillful formats of all time, but most of all, it might be the funnest format of all time. And it's definitely really fun to look back on and experiment with. It is by far the most popular legacy Yu-Gi-Oh format. So since the format is so loved by the player base, why doesn't Konami support it? Or other legacy formats like Teledad, or Yu-Gi Kaiba format, or Necroz format, or Yada Lock. <laughs> Okay, maybe not Yada Lock because that was the most degenerate shit ever. Like, I hate to bring up Magic the Gathering because I basically know nothing about it, but I've been told by friends that play it that they do have some sort of legacy format system, apparently. Don't quote me on any of that because I've never played the game. I think most players can agree on having more options on what kind of Yu-Gi-Oh to play instead of just whatever the current format is. But still, the question remains, what is the true reason that Konami doesn't support legacy formats that players love? In other words, why doesn't Konami host legacy format events similar to what they do with, you know, YCSs and regionals and such? I think that the answer is money. And I'm going to explain exactly why that is using Go Format as an example, as it is, like I said, the most popular legacy format by far. Unless, of course, you are just dead set on playing max, max rarity Go Control. You can actually play the format very, very cheap despite all the recent price jumps and buyouts. This is because most Go Format relevant cards come in common. Jive Infecting Virus, Exarian Universe, Magician of Faith, Premature Burial, Heavy Storm, Mystical Space Time Food, Mirror Force, Torrential Tribute, Pot of Greed, Graceful Charity. I mean, the list goes on and on and on and on. I've actually had a great response on my Facebook page selling common GOAT format cores. Even though I do have a higher rarity stuff, people don't want to pay an arm and a leg and a left nut to play GOAT control. Or to play Yu-Gi-Oh! in general, for that matter. I mean, full power Necros back in the day was what? Like a thousand bucks? Easy? I know I spent close to a thousand on it. I might as well have given up one of my balls to play that deck. Or Teledad back in the day. That deck was expensive as shit too. But I'm getting off track here. Go Control comes in common and people do not want to spend big money like that to play Yu-Gi-Oh! But since the cards are so cheap and so readily available, Co Money cannot make a single dime off of card sales for people wanting to play Go Control. And that is literally the entire reason why they don't support legacy formats. I mean, if Konami did decide to host legacy format events, they would make money off off of like entry fees and the prize support would just literally be what they're already doing where you get like a card at a YCS for example. I mean even with just basic, basic support with not even packs upon entry, I guarantee that people would pay to play Go Format. I know that I would because I would be paying to have fun. I mean I seriously would not mind paying 20 bucks if I got to play 8 rounds of GOAT against a lot of good players and it would just be a good time. But what Konami could do to make money if they hypothetically started hosting GOAT tournaments is make really good foiled out reprint sets like a legendary collection go control or something like that or even just a basic starter deck with a chaos deck or a zombie deck or something of that sort but with a modified rule book inside explaining the relevant sets and the ban list now things could get a little messy with the rules because like i explained in my introduction video player priority was a thing in Yu-Gi-Oh at the time i mean player priority in go format is very important to stay 100 percent true to the format but honestly if could Konami decided to host legacy format events and to keep things very, very simple for new players just said fuck priority. Some old school players are going to disagree with that, but I honestly would not mind if I got to play GOAT control or another format. Honestly, getting rid of priority and GOAT might even make things more interesting. But those are just my thoughts on the subject, guys. I would love to hear you guys' thoughts down in the comment section. Do you think that Konami should host legacy format events or do you think that Yu-Gi-Oh needs to keep moving forward and all that stuff is just old and irrelevant? Let me know down below and as always always, dick slap that like button and subscribe.